Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to take a look at the current state of my Penguin Cygnus collection. There are 14 Penguin Cygnus lighters before you to my count, along with three that we will call Cygnus adjacent. They appear in every way to me to be Cygnus lighters, but are branded otherwise. It has been a while since I have done an update on these. Everyone knows my fondness for Penguin Cygnus Petrol lighters, and we have a cross-section of them to look at with different embellishments, finishes, tones, advertisements, etc. We will start right up here at the top. The plain silver tone. Of course, these will all have the unique thumb roller flint tension mechanism. It is marked Penguin Cygnus on the base. This lighter is brand new. I don't believe it has ever been struck, nor does it have flint in it. I'd have to go back and look at the particular video when I bought it to tell you what the state of the flint tube was when I purchased it. But either way, it is a brand new lighter in unused condition and you can see we have the original box Although there was no cellophane, paperwork, or anything like that along with it. Just the box with what looks like an original price sticker. From there, we have another silver tone, although you will see that there are differences. Whereas the first one has a knurled hobnail roller this one has just straight striations fluted maybe would be the better term for this one we also have along the bottom a couple of small size sicknesses and you can see there that the rollers are different on those as well this advertising small Cygnus for Victory Optical is the only small advertisement Cygnus that I have. Very cool. These are very small though. These lighters are not real conducive to use unless perhaps you are a uh, small woman or just have very small hands. It's very hard to gain purchase on these lighters because it is so short. It's really just a three or four finger operation. You're not using your whole hand. It's about three and a half fingers. That one is actually marked Super Cygnus on the base. I don't know what the difference was there. Then along the middle here, we're going to have three advertising models. This one being the newest, the Getz Brothers and Company, Japan, Canadian Club Whiskey, along with the CC. That is not a pure silver tone or gold tone. It's sort of what I would think of as a rose gold. Champagne maybe. Something like that. The emerald green lighter is very near and dear to my heart. Didn't pay much for it. Didn't pay much for any of these. 
20 25 dollars the most that i think i've paid for any of these but most of them have been purchased in lots you got two tones going on here with the emerald green and then the gold very nice very cool lighter then we have a couple here one with Japanese artwork not sure of the technical information for the paint if that's enamel or lacquer there's a scene on the front and the back I think that's probably lacquer but that would just be a guess on my part and then the lighter that I found without a fill screw although I'm certain it is a Cygnus that's what I put in there was a Cygnus fill screw but some very elaborate fancy nice engraving very happy to have that one in my collection then of course we have the three adjacent lighters that one is marked Prince on the fill screw this one is marked Le Briquette at Sea that's a French name on a Japanese lighter and that one is very very used and then this particular lighter one of the more fancy of the ones that I have is marked Cornwall Slimline but you can see while the tone is different it's pretty similar in every way including the hobnail design to this dragon lighter that is marked Cygnus so you see a lot of these lighters marked otherwise but still the vast majority Mark Cygnus if there was one that I would not part with it would probably be this one that emerald green it's just so brilliant and bright I love them all and I don't foresee selling them they do have value but one thing about me collecting these lighters I have talked at length in the past about how I began in the hobby here's a brother's sewing machine table lighter that is the table lighter that is represented in my collection at this current time but I was a seller buyer seller repair them move them on and I wasn't able to collect especially the more expensive lighters that were passing through my hands the Thorns the Dunhills the higher end and older Zippos I was three years into this whole hobby before it ever even really dawned on me to start collecting a particular lighter so be sure to let me know if you have sicknesses that you would like to trade if you have some that you would like to sell or if you just have some that you would like to show off then hit us up there at the contact us page at dependableflame.com let me know what you have what you're willing to part with and what you want for it in return I'll do some other videos soon of some of the other different aspects of my collection but just wanted to update this one as you all know this is my favorite and what I consider the heart of my personal collection until next time.